So for goodness sake, don't go to the Shard and spend all that money. Go to these four places instead. Here are four fantastic roof terraces that you might not know about in the city of London. So last month I had a day off in London and I took myself to these four terraces. Armed as always with my XH2S, we are going to be taking plenty of photos, plenty of video to show you whether or not it is worth checking out for yourself. Along with the X-H2S, I will have two other lenses with me, the Sigma 56mm 1.4 and the 18-55 kit lens. If you're a photographer or a tourist who loves to take photos, then you should definitely try and visit some of these locations. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Sky Garden, which doesn't quite make my list because you do have to book well in advance and in the high season, it can be months. In this video, I'll be rating each terrace so you can make a judgment on whether you should go to. So the first place I visited was the terrace on the fifth floor at the Royal Opera House. This beautiful rooftop bar is open every day except Sundays, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. This is an amazing place to visit. There's a restaurant, you can get a drink, have lunch, and it looks over, as you can see, all of Covent Garden. I advise if you can get here for sunset, this really would be a great place to take some awesome photos. I sadly wasn't available to make it there for sunset. However, I still feel I was able to capture some pretty decent photos while I was there using my 18 to 55 kit lens. It's astonishing how quiet it is here. It's definitely worth a visit and I would rate this a solid seven out of 10. The second place I visited was the rooftop at One New Change. Open from six in the morning until midnight, this place is fantastic to get great pictures of St Paul's. Here you can see in my video, it was a little bit more contrast than I would have liked, but still, nonetheless, you can see real potential in grabbing some great photos of the city line and St Paul's. I would highly recommend this. The elevator ride alone was exhilarating enough for me. It's great to know that this place exists. I'll definitely be coming back so I can take some more photos of St Paul's. But for this review and the lack of photos I was able to get, I'm only gonna give it a six out of 10. The next place we visited was the garden at 120 on the 15th floor of the Fen Court building. This is the largest public rooftop space in all of London. So of the three, this was definitely the most inspirational one we had visited thus far. I just found that the XH2S really responded well to the conditions we were presented with. Again, I am shocked at how few people were here and it really gave me enough of a chance to shoot and take enough photos for me to feel like I had got enough. If I had to suggest to go to one of these four roof terraces, it would be this one. It was stunning up here. Again, the light wasn't quite right, and I imagine even at sunrise or sunset, this place would be absolutely amazing. However, I still found it in falling, and I'll definitely be going back. Also from here, you can see the walkie-talkie building itself and the sky garden. It seems so strange for it to be so quiet, but this one is definitely worth checking out if you get the time. So I brought two lenses with me on this little excursion, the Sigma 56mm 1.4 and the 18 to 55 mm kit lens, both small and compact enough to travel around with for the day whilst packing enough of a punch to grab the next shot here or there. So without doubt, I'm giving the garden at 120 a solid nine out of 10. The final place we checked out was the roof garden on the ninth floor of the post building. Similar to the garden at 120, the post building has the same vibe in terms of garden and space. From here, you can see the British Museum and pretty much, again, most of London. But make sure you go in the right door. 
we actually went through a different entrance and was escorted off the building. So make sure you go around the side through the front door. As you can see, it became slightly overcast, but that's the fantastic thing about visiting these four free terraces, is that they're free and you can visit anytime you want. This video was a fact finding mission and it has definitely enticed me to revisit some of these places again. So for the post building, I'm going to give this one a solid eight out of 10. So if you've got a day off, you're visiting London, you want to take some great snaps of the London cityscape, go check out these four free buildings. Don't go to the Shard. Like I said, all these terraces are free. The Shard charges a general admission of £32. Or if you're going to go to the walkie talkie building and go to the Sky Garden, do make sure you book well in advance. You'll be really sad just turning up on the day for them sadly to turn you away. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate all of your support. Keep rocking in the free world. See you in the next one.